Currently, we have like 10 committee members representing 10 countries uh, and 35 ambassadors worldwide. We did a, quite a lot for the past two years and all involving a natural disaster. I think the first one we went is like 2013 November, we went into this uh, Philippines, they have a typhoon. So we managed to gather all our national uh, members to uh, raise funds to build 500 rooftop for the uh, affected uh, victims, uh, Serbia and Croatia, they have a major flood. We also, some, we also try to help them but during that period I think the flood is quite severe so we can't actually go in and do, do some work there. So what we do is we gather some uh, fundraising, uh, we donated like, I, I remember it's like 12 to 14,000 euros just for the association there to do some uh, charity event to the local people. Latest ones are uh, Nepal, helping the Nepal people after the major earthquake. And I was there personally I think, for three days and we witnessed this uh, massive destruction by Mother Nature. And I think at least they will take at least 10 to 15 years to recover. So what we do is we actually uh, encourage all the association worldwide. Uh, to do a charity event in that very country and uh, seek for donations and and fortunately we managed to raise 30,000 euros not much but uh, is is something uh, to us helping the people in Nepal and also um, the association there are happy to assist us but in Myanmar I think we have this project called uh, uh, creating a new life for the prisoners. So uh, in, 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 in the jail, I mean, only for women now at the moment. So women, they actually uh, uh, created crimes and in the jail. So what we do is when they finish their terms, uh, we have chef there to coach them how to make a very simple dishes. Um, uh, so maybe they can actually create a, a small little food store and sell and earn for a living. So hopefully they won't go back to the jail again. So this is a small little project that we have uh, scattered all around the world. In Thailand, we have this project that uh, actually we seek very poor young kids, like 19, 20 years old. We just bring them into uh, our organizations. We train them some skill and we send this kid to competition. They have no clue about competition and, and culinary. He's just a normal kid making like maybe uh, 150 Australian dollar a month selling a, a meat skewer on the roadside. So what we do is we, we, we engage him, we pay them the same amount of money that he earns every month. So we train them. After training them already, then we send them for competitions, uh, get some medals, some certifications, come back uh, to, to Thailand, we actually uh, find them a job you know, in the hotel industry. So from 150 Australian dollars, this guy actually jumped up to like a thousand Australian dollars. So it's like within three, four months period. So this way we can actually not only helping him, but also helping him to take care of his family. Because most of these kids come from a very poor family. This is what we do, worship with double dollars. We don't really want to only give money, we want to create a new life for the unfortunate one. I think we are too fortunate. I say it again, we are too fortunate. I think sometimes we take things for granted. I think we should, we, we can work together. It's all about education education so we also want to enforce things that we do uh, the message been go through the all the junior chefs the young chefs so when one day they become somebody they can start thinking of return back to the society